Hey everyone. Okay, so I am here today because I am going to paint our trim white with chalk paint. Big surprise, right? Um, but I know some of you guys might be thinking, and sorry, the light's kind of weird right here. Um, you guys might be thinking like, can you paint your trim with chalk paint? And the answer is yes. Um, so what's really nice about this is we don't have to prime it um, because chalk paint does not need to be primed. What I did do is I did scuff sand it just to help the adhesion a little bit better um, because there is probably some sort of poly on here. Um, it just helps it grip better. You don't need to, but I think that it's good prep to do that. Um, but that's what we're going to do today. And I know I've already talked about this on my stories a little bit, but I know that some of you guys are going to be like, no, don't paint it. But I truly, truly believe you guys, if you live somewhere and, or if you have a piece of furniture, I know that there's stuff that people are like, don't paint, don't paint. But if it makes your heart happy to paint it or, you know, paint a crazy color on a wall, whatever it is, like do it. Like it is worth your happiness to displease a few other people, right? Like you want to love the place that you live, right? So it makes our heart happy to have white trim. And maybe that's a trend and we'll change our mind in 10 years, but at least we have 10 years of happiness on that. So um, without further ado, I'm going to start to paint it. And like, as I mentioned, I already um, scuff sanded it a little bit. And as usual, I'm going to just spray a little bit of water, just like any other piece that I would be painting um, to help spread the paint a little bit. And we're just gonna paint around there. And I already taped it up. Well, actually, um, my mother-in-law did, and she did a great job on it. I'm very thankful um, for their help. And we already taped it up so that I can just paint away. You could totally freehand it too. I actually generally prefer freehanding, um, but these are brand new windows, and we just painted this wall, so I don't want to either fix the window or repaint the wall. So um, that's kind of where we're going with this, but um, I just like to get a good coat um, and you know it's kind of haphazard as I do the first kind of coat on there and then I'll always go back and just kind of straighten out my lines, right? And since we are thinning it out a little bit, um, it is going to help smooth the um, paint and have less possibility of, of paint chokes in there um, and since Dixie Belle has such awesome paint um, it is self leveling so that will also help with our brush strokes um, so between um, thinning it out and just the awesomeness of the paint um, we should have a pretty smooth finish and this will probably take maybe two to three coats I mean I have really good coverage on this first coat here um, but I do probably want to do at least another one, if not a third. We'll have to see how it turns out. Um, I will sand this a little bit with a, like, probably 400 grit in between once it dries, just to smooth it out and make sure we have really good adhesion um, between the two coats. And that just helps make sure that it sticks and stays for a really long time, because obviously we don't want to do this twice. <laughs> But like I said, maybe this will be a, this won't be a trend anymore. We'll want to paint it something else. But hey, that's what's fun about home ownership is that you can literally do anything you want, and if it makes you happy, then that's good. And this is kind of part of a series too that Dixie Belle is doing right now. They are. Um, painting around the house so if you guys are interested in like doing other projects in your house and you're not sure what you can use Dixie Belle paint for they have a whole series that's running for like the next month and a half of other um, retailers like me and they're just painting around the house and they're showing you what you can do well actually next week I will show you guys how I'm going to chalk paint my front door um, with this paint so that's gonna be fun. We have two colors picked out as you might have if you follow me. Sorry, I'm gonna step out of the frame a little bit. Um, if you guys follow me on my stories, um, we have two colors picked out and I think 
we're leaning towards daisy and I can drop that color when I'm done below in the comments. But that's like a really fun bright yellow and it goes really good with like the blue that we just painted our house. The other color is that we're thinking is muscadine wine which is like a really beautiful deep red um, kind of like a burgundy type color. Um, and that's the other color we're thinking, but we're gonna try the yellow first because obviously it's gonna be a little bit easier painting over yellow than painting over a dark red. Um, but I'm gonna take you guys down here while I paint the trim on the bottom here. But those are the two colors. So if you guys have like a, a vote, definitely drop it below because I'm not too sure which color I'm gonna like. I'm kind of almost leaning at first I really wanted the yellow but now I'm kind of leaning towards the muscadine wine which is like that deep red um I just don't know yet plus our neighbor has a yellow door and I don't know if we want to like copy them I mean I know it doesn't matter but So I mean, it's really truly as easy as this. And I've worked with other paint. Um, when we did our kitchen cabinets, we actually didn't use chalk paint, surprise, right? Um, we used a paint that my mom had a lot of success with when she painted her cabinets. Um, and it still turned out really good, but it was really hard to work with. Like if you had like made any mistake with it, it was like you had to sand it all the way out and it was so tough to work with. Um, and it was just a bummer, but like, if you have like this stuff, like if you make a mistake, it's so easy just to sand it down and restart. Um, but truly it's kind of, it's kind of hard to make a mistake with this stuff. Um, having a little bit of trouble in this area because the heat vent is right here. Um, so it's making the paint dry super quick when I put it on. Um, but it's working all right. And make sure I'm getting under here. So you guys can see like how quickly it is it goes just to put on one coat here and how good the coverage is too. I mean because painting white is kind of hard sometimes. You have to paint quite a few coats depending what you're painting over um, but this stuff covers just so good. So well I think be the proper English there but yeah so okay let me show you guys kind of already what I've done in the last like two minutes really so if you're just joining I'm painting our trim and I'm painting it white and we have white windows let me just switch can I switch the screen yeah here let's do a little bit better so we have like white window sills um, and we just got these when we moved in the windows were pretty sure from the original build in the 70s um, and we are just painting the white trim and it's gonna make this room just so much more brighter um, so we're pretty excited about it and this is what I did in like just literally like probably the last like three minutes so this paint goes on really well really quickly and I'll probably need like two coats at least and then I'm gonna put gator hide over it so that I can make sure that it lasts forever and it'll be water resistant because I know like if you're like me you've left the windows open when it rains and please ignore the disaster that is our painting everything's tarped and everything in here um I cannot wait until we finish the trim the trim is one of the last things that we have to do in here we're getting a tv next week that's going to get hung and then 
our sofa unfortunately is like eight weeks out because of everything going on but we ordered it so that's in the process um it's gonna be our first ever brand new couch you guys <laughs> i feel like a real adult we're gonna have like a brand new couch um if you caught my live earlier this week we did order a light blue couch though um and i have two big dogs if you guys <laughs> have seen them at all um and we just fenced our backyard so they just like live outside now they're like sorry guys we're outside dogs like we're never coming back in and when they do they're like super muddy and i'm like oh my gosh we maybe shouldn't have got like a light blue couch but <laughs> at least it's not in the same room if they come inside so i hope that we can at least like catch them before they like go run and just paw up our, our couch but anyways this room is coming along and i will be sure to show you guys before and after of the trim um i'll post it tonight i'm hoping to get at least one good coat and then also I am, in case you were wondering, we are doing the um, baseboards as well. So I'm really excited to brighten up this room. And um, later this week, I will show you, you guys can see kind of in the background, I already started these. These balusters were wood. Um, and we started to paint them with the same color that we're painting the trim. So I'm going to do a second coat on those later this week. And I will be sure to pop in and show you guys that as well. So. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I'm sure you'll see me again soon on here, um, and I'll talk to you guys later.